no one wants to feel uncomfortable or unsafe yeah. and that's like our goal is to make that our number one priority Kati and Julia are co-founders of their new business called Rise. The whole business is based on a women rideshare service. With apps like Uber and Lyft dominating the rideshare market, Rise has a unique advantage as it promotes safety for women. When we did our research, we found out that like 1.4 billion women reported, like in a survey by USA Today, that they felt unsafe or vulnerable in an Uber rideshare, and that number is 23% of all women that take ride shares. I for one have never taken an Uber alone and probably won't unless I have to, but a ride share app for women might just make my backseat experience a little more enjoyable and a little less scary. I did like a customer like survey I think on Google and I think all of my Instagram about like maybe 300 people just like people I follow just claim that they had been sexually assaulted for sure. Once up and running, the company plans on donating 20% of its profits to the Rape, Abuse, and Incest National Network, which is an American anti-sexual assault nonprofit organization. Out of 57 groups of like teams that one like had bis different business ideas, we were selected from like the top 20. And then after that, our next round, which is this Friday, um, is going to be the top five. If they make it to the top five and win the WSU business plan competition, they'll earn $15,000 for their business. In Pullman for Murrow News 8, I am Noelle Anderson.